Let's talk about animals. Can we oh. talk about your pets? Yes, yes. Because every time you come on, there's always like a new addition to the family. That's right, that's right. This summer I had like a dog episode, like a connection with, a special connection with dogs. Tell, now tell I me. I don't know what that means, but they came to me a lot. <laughs> and um, when I was, I was. <laughs> what in the world? Oh yeah, my husband doesn't believe that the animals come to me, but. Now I think he only pretends he doesn't believe, but tell, tell me he's the story. Convinced. Tell me what happened. He, okay, so there is a there is like a, a bathroom in a in a mud room in my house that we don't use very much. Yeah. And I had a friend visiting from Mexico, and on a Sunday we were having a breakfast like at ten, and outside close to that place, and my husband went to the bathroom. Yeah. And then he comes back and he's like, he went very calm and in a good mood. And he goes, oh no, that's it. This is where you withdraw the line. This is like another level of crazy. You, I found you out. I found what you were hiding in the... I'm like, what are you talking about? I found a dog hiding in the thing. I said, I don't have any extra dogs. I haven't picked up any dogs. <laughs> like, no, not the dog, the dog, because it's French and it sounded the same. Finally, he said it in French, canard. And I said, oh, I don't have a dog. I don't have a dog. Yeah. Yes, you do. Stop lying. How God knows how long you've had that in there. <laughs> and I go, you're crazy, hallucinating. And anyway, I go, and on this armor, there he is. A duck inside my house. It's like, Tchoo. yeah, that's my armor. But oh, how did he get in your house? The security people had to come and figure out how he got in there. Yeah. He got in there through the chimney. But when I went in there, I was like, so excited, Jimmy. I mean, it was a such a blessing duck. to have a, an animal come inside my house to visit. And I was, ay, mi amor, que lindo. And my husband is like, what do you mean, mi amor? There is everywhere. He's destroyed the place. You're getting rid of that duck. And I tried, but I said, okay, open the windows. When I go up, it's just going to fly. But he was very happy. He was not even nervous. So I wanted to be a good host. I brought him some letters. And it... <laughs> so finally, at 6 o'clock, he insisted enough. And I had to carry him because he would not leave and then let him fly away. But you know, I was so sad. But two days later, we came to Los Angeles at yeah. night. And when he woke up in the morning, we had another dog with her <laughs> five babies in the pool. <laughs> Dude, what is going Animals come to you. They do come to me, yes. They, they love you. Uh, I want to talk about Like a Boss. It's super funny. You, Tiffany Haddish, uh, Rose Byrne. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to talk about this, this Marvel movie you're doing, if I can talk about this. this is yeah, Eternals. yeah. Eternals. You can, but I can't because they have you on the contract that you can... All I can tell you is that it's going to be amazing. I'm very excited. All right, that's it, but that's... I'm but, very excited. But this is... Who Mel Nanjani's in it? Yes, and uh, Angelina who? Jolie, who my adore. I mean, the cast, the entire cast is incredible. Angelina Jolie? The, the, the director is incredible. The executives are incredible. I pinch myself. And I got to tell you, I give all the credit to Like a Boss because this Like a Boss movie, it's, it's, it's got superpowers. I'm not kidding. Since I did that movie, my life has changed. I mean, it's like my good luck charm. I've done five movies since, and everybody in the movie, it's working nonstop and doing great. So I was trying to figure out what is it that makes this movie have these superpowers. And by the way, if you're superstitious, come and see it because it might change your life. And if you're not superstitious, come and see it because it's very funny. <laughs> but I figure out, I figure out what was the secret and why I'm doing so well. What, what was it? It is Tiffany. Um, she has these mojo bunions. <laughs> I promise you. One day she was complaining about it and I said, girl, give me that food. And I rubbed it like the Aladdin lamp or like <laughs> the Buddha belly. Yeah. I rubbed the bonion and my life changed. <laughs> you, you, she saying... has a magical bonion, <laughs> Tiffany. 
Tiffany Haddish's bunion is oh. your good luck? Oh, yes. You rub it for good luck. Oh, yes. If anything starts going back, I'm going to go find her and so say, give me that foot. <laughs> Uh, let's describe the film for everybody and who you play. You played a villain in this. I scene. played a villain. Yeah. Yes. It's very and funny it, though. It was very fun. It was very fun, especially because everybody is so nice. It was really an amazing, an amazing experience. And these two girls are so talented and so funny, and they're trying to build up. They have a business. It's not doing really well. I know how to make it better, but that might involve not doing things in such a touchy feely way like they do. Yes, exactly. So I have a more aggressive approach and I'm kind of trying to break them up because I'm kind of jealous that jealous. they're friends and stuff. Uh, and I have no friends. Like, I mean. like a boss, I want to show a clip here's Selma Hayek Pino in Like a Boss. Take a look. Congratulations. Now we celebrate. Please stop. <laughs> How fun. Sama Hayek, he know, everybody. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.